Welcome to Ridge Life Lessons. I'm Tim, and today on Prayers from the Porch, we've got praise reports and prayer requests. We've got lots of each. And if you're new to Prayers from the Porch, what we're doing is uh, lifting up prayer requests that you have left in the comments of last week's Prayers from the Porch. So make sure you leave all your new prayer requests down below in the comments of this video, and we will sure to get them up next Friday. Friday's the day I try to get these out every week. So, um, if you can, if you got praise reports as well, leave those. I love hearing how God has blessed you or answered your prayers. And today we're going to be reading out of the Song of Songs. Yes, that's a book that a lot of people don't quote from or don't read from. But I think with, with the way spring is coming on now, I think the Song of Songs is a perfect addition. This is Song of Songs 2, 11 through 13. See, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone, flowers appear on the earth, and the seasons a singing has come. The cooing of the doves is heard in our land. The fig trees form its early fruit, the blossoming vines spread their fragrance. Also, come my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. Yes, spring is here, guys. Well, it's almost here. We can see the daffodils blooming and the trees are starting to bud. The bees are starting to buzz in the apiaries looking for nectar and pollen. So are you ready for the spring season? I know I am, but there's still a lot of people that are in, in hospitals and uh, bedridden that, that can't get out and enjoy it. So we're going to make sure we lift those up as well. But a lot of people are recovering and that's a blessing. And I want to bless, uh, hear all those blessings of people recovering. So we're going to start off with Alicia. Alicia has a, a prayer request for her father. He's had breathing issues for a year and we've been praying for him. And Caitlin, her daughter, uh, uh, prayed for him on the phone a week ago. Well, Sunday he called in Monday and said he felt great. Yes, that can be uh, that he can breathe again. Yes, great. Praise God. Um, she used her pulse oximeter on him, and it was 91 to 93 percent. And when he first came, but it quickly went to 94 to 96 percent, and later it was at 97 uh, for a brief second. So uh, praise God, blessings for sure. Caitlin, praying for your grandpa. Good, good deal there. Um, but Katie, Alicia's daughter, also is having uh, issues this winter with her eczema, and she sent me pictures, and it's very, very, uh, it looks very excruciating. So pay, pray for Katie. For her eczema, uh, we will definitely pray for her, uh, Alicia. Auntie Ann says, "Tim, my mother-in-law Dorothy needs urgent prayers." And this was a, little, a few days. This was a few days ago, but she still needs prayers. She was taken to the hospital yesterday because she was incoherent, which was <laughs> terrible. When she was admitted to the hospital, they said they did a COVID test, and she was positive. She has only uh, improved slightly, uh, and they're doing an MRI to see if she possibly had a stroke. Um, an update on that, her name is Dorothy. Dorothy is still in bad shape. They don't think she had a stroke though, amen, but they don't know what's causing her symptoms. Uh, one doctor said she thought she had COVID, uh, it might, the COVID might be it. Uh, she's had a loss of muscle control and struggles to do simple things. Cognitive abilities are reduced as well and she struggles to find words. So please guys, let's pray for Auntie Anne's Dorothy. That is her um, mother-in-law, Dorothy. So Auntie Anne, you're a big, huge part of our our channels, our community, um, and we will definitely uh, pray for your mother-in-law, Dorothy. Uh, let's see, we've got Roberta Eldridge says, less than 48 hours before it will be time to drive out to Missouri to help other YouTubers build a 16 by 16 cabin and work on a variety of other projects for a YouTube friend. And that's it, Crazy Ed, by the way. Uh, prayers for safety, provisions, blessings for all who will be traveling, working, building, planting, and fellowshipping next week. Well, Roberta, you definitely, and all of you guys have our prayers for sure. Uh, Joy from Joy Blessed Life says, please pray for our sweet friend, Cynthia. She gave me permission to share, uh, so please do. She's in the hospital on oxygen for COPD, having COVID test, and she has a YouTube uh, channel um, and shares the gospel message as well. If you want to uh, show her some love, call, you can tell her, Joy Blessed life asked to lift her up. Well, we are definitely lifting her up. And they got a prayer, uh, an update on Cynthia. They are admitting her, uh, going to give her antibiotics and steroids plus breathing treatments. Blood work looks great. That's great. Heart enzymes look prestigious. Um, liver and kidney functions are great. Amen. Um, A1C looks good. Still waiting on Cootie's test, <laughs> the coronavirus. Chest x-rays show a bronchitis and the start of possible pneumonia. So we don't want any of that. That's for sure. Uh, Shirley Moore says prayers for everyone. Yes, Tim, I'm one of those closet prayers as well, but I want everyone to pray for this upside down world that we're living in right now. Yes, 
play for the entire world, especially those over in Ukraine having to suffer through uh, the war that's being on, you know, um, uh, forced upon them. Uh, we want to definitely pray for all, all of our brothers and sisters in the Ukraine. And all the young men and women, they're having a fight on the Russian side against their will. They, they, you hear the news reports. They, they, once they figured out they weren't peacekeepers, they were there to attack Ukraine, they didn't like it as well. They're, they're ashamed to be there. A lot of them sure don't there. Uh, 1117 Peace Dragon William Hughes says, Pray for my friend up in Alaska, uh, Maria. Had to have an emergency C-section and lots and lots of blood. So definitely for Maria in the ICU up there. Little girl with the lung conditions. She had her surgery and is doing well. Yay. Prayers, uh, request, blessings there. Prayers for a family uh, from his church who have, um, they all have fever and are very sick. We probably know what that is. Pray for uh, um, him, William, to find loving family for a foster blind and deaf cat who needs a great home. Well, hopefully you find someone who can, foster that cat. Uh, Luann West says, needing prayer for a family in need. Well, we will answer that call for prayer. Luann, uh, that family in need is getting our prayers tonight. L. Johnson says, praying for asked request and, and for unspoken. To God be the glory to all. Well, we will uh, definitely lift up your unspoken request there, L. Johnson. Uh, Brian over at the Vineyard Farmhouse says, Papa's back surgery was a success. He is doing well and resting at home. Well, Brian, that is great, great news. I am super impressed happy and pleased to know that uh those prayer requests are being lifted up and uh there are blessings being made every moment out there in god's kingdom and if you have prayer requests please put them in the comments down below i'd love to um add those to next week's and if you have any updates on these prayer requests please comment down below as well so we can get those um updates out to all those who have been praying and want to know how everyone is doing so guys until next time i hope everyone has a blessed blessed day and to god be the glory